So I only say the n-word when I sing songs with the n-word in them. You're cooked. I'll be real with you, bro. You're cooked, bro. I better not catch you in public, bro. Memes that ruin people's lives. Meet Donna Goodow. You should already know who this is, but in case you don't, this lady right here was responsible for four different viral memes in one. Damn. Oh, and based on this damn, video evidence, you can clearly see that she's getting arrested for some sort of activities. But what okay. for? With Mrs. Goodow, there's more than meets the eye. And what it happened? gets a whole lot darker than you would have ever thought. Donna was involved in an armed robbery with two men on a 73-year-old man. The criminals knocked on the victim's door. And when the senior citizen opened it, they grabbed his debit card, requested the pin. Yo, that's actually crazy, bro. You told me everyone was getting lit to a criminal? Like, imagine you get robbed and the person that robbed you becomes famous. I'm gonna be heated, bro. Number. Then the thieves <laughs> ended up torturing torturing him and brutally assaulting him. Fast forward a little bit later, the arrest took place and the viral meme occurred. Donna oh, Goodell was sentenced no. to prison in 2011 How for long? 18 years. Damn, so her ass was being viral on the internet and through her fame, her ass got arrested. That gotta be sad. I ima imagine being take a finally showing that you could rap and your ass get arrested. Now her other accomplices got 60 years and 50 years. Donna is currently being held in Gatesville, Texas, and her scheduled release date is July 19th, 2029. Damn. Just for reference, Duke Dennis might be 50 years old by then. Now Yo, why did he catch a stray like that, bruh? Yo, she probably gonna come out like, the whole world gonna love me. They're gonna be like, wait, who are you again? No one remembers that meme. Now, clearly, Young and May in an alternate reality is completely crashing out here. So that gave me the wonderful idea. What are some other memes that ruin people's lives? Let's get started. Welvin the Great, aka the oh. D's Nuts guy. Normally, I would clown everybody else on this list, but I'm not gonna go too hard on Welvin the Great because I know he's actually disabled. But I Damn. remember people used to call bro Draymond Green if he was on the spectrum, and they used to say bro ate too many jawbreakers Yo! back in the day. Now, the D's Nuts guy was a viral sensation back in 2016, the yep. greatest year of all of humanity. You that, it was, that was probably the most rinse joke in the internet. People would be like, oh, D's Nuts. Bro, it got, it got annoying. Could not go anywhere without hearing somebody say Facts. D's Nuts. Got him. I googled what happened to the D's Nuts guy. He lost a nut to testicular cancer now he's dis nut huh? never trust reddit ever again guys now apparently mr welvin was spotted multiple times throughout the last few years appearing as homeless wait yo chat y'all wait i'm actually curious i wonder if any girl ever gave it up to him because he's like oh are you welvin the great okay let me throw some butt back at you or is he just too chopped respectfully though and in very, very rough situations. My very legitimate sources say that these nuts guy has essentially lost everything. More recently, there was even rumors of this man passing away. That has since been debunked. Welvin is still alive and his whereabouts okay, are relatively good. unknown. Now, what I can infer is that Welvin DeGray did not have the greatest circle around him. No pun intended. So I'm pretty sure he's disabled and no disrespect. Damn. But with that said, it might be even easier to take advantage of him. It just sucks because Welvin was set up to be a generational meme talent. Kevin Leonardo. Today, yes. we are nearing my hairy crack. Little girls excite me. Lock him up! Yo, how is he still a, a meme, bruh? Little girls excite you. Like, I can't describe the happy feeling that I get in my heart. What? And I see and meet little girls in public. Like, why would you say it like that? No, there's no right way to say that, bruh. You can't say that, dude. Like, what? Do you have any home training? I thought that was Josh Giddy for a second. Now, technically speaking, Kevin Leonardo makes educational content. And I'm not justifying this by any means because I think this is very strange to be putting on TikTok, which is a kid's app. As a sub, I'm really into colonization. Like, I almost wish I was there when my home country was being colonized by, I think, the Dutch. I just mean- Could you imagine if this nigga was Pocahontas? That nigga would have been throwing it back to six settlers, bro. Or you have a colonization kick? Your whole, your whole home country being thrashed, destroyed, niggas getting killed, and, and all you think is a dick, nigga? I'm not gonna lie, this nigga's weird, bro. I mean, like, in a fun, like, sensual, like, way, you know? Excuse me, dude? So I only say the N-word when I sing songs with the N-word in them. You're cooked. I'll be real with you, bro. You're cooked, bro. I better not catch you in public, bro. And I only do this when I'm, like, alone. Bro's actually finished. I don't even know if McDonald's is hiring this dude no more. He might not even get a job at the local 7-Eleven. I don't know what type of Asian this man is, but he better not be Japanese. We don't claim him. He's probably profiting off of this content. But the reality is, nobody will ever take him seriously ever again. Because they're always going to be like, hey, aren't you the dude who showed his crack on YouTube? You'll never yeah, bro. Im yo, imagine being iconic because you showed your black... Your, your black hairy asshole, bruh. I mean, like, uh, wait, I mean, I don't know if his asshole is black, but imagine going viral because you showed your butt to millions of people. Like, that's that's probably the worst thing to go viral for. Never be able to live that down. And I've noticed on TikTok that this is actually a frequent archetype of people. There are users like Quanos, for example, who make unhinged and downright crazy videos. Most of you guys might be familiar with Life and Scars. How to legally two-piece a bitch. 
Had a spider. With a dick. And this trend of video okay, is going bro. viral, and now many other people are doing it. Like it's not some legitimate concern. The content should be family friendly, man. The Liver King. Now the Liver King is kind of in his own unique lane, where his life is not ruined just yet. He's on a very, very. His life was ruined when he, when he, when he, when he started eating buffalo dick for content, bro. When he, right when you eat um nuts uh, off of animals, you lost me, bro. Downwards trajectory. Now the Liver King's whole shtick is that he likes to go on a carnivorous ancestral prehistoric diet consisting of only eating raw meat. My initial thoughts, be famous for putting raw meat in your mouth. That's the most zesty thing you can do. Now, not only does the liver king like to promote- Hold on, so when he eats raw meat, he's trending. But when I consume raw meat, I'm gay? <laughs> How does that make sense? unhealthy lifestyles but people also hate him because he claims that he has this johnny bravo type of build due to eating raw meat only when everybody knows the boy is putting needles and shooting up roids daily you look like a character from Facts. borderlands this ain't the face of a normal human being pause though how has no 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 i'm not gonna lie doing a workout and, and, and trying to lick some balls bro this nigga's gay bro is this man not caught in salmonella yet yeah, how hasn't nah, he got Nah, bro, where's your masculinity at, man? Straight up, just eating testicles. Oh, this is how Kendrick no. fans been looking the past. Look how much testicle. Bro, are you Riley Reed? There is, n there should be no reason why you're sat with this much amount of testicles in your table, bro. Do not risk your health and safety for content. Listen to me. You can still work a normal job. Nine to fives are okay. My bad, Facts. I had to shake some sense into some of y'all, bro. Drake. I mean, other than getting dissed by every single artist on the planet right now, I would say Drake is in a relatively comfortable state, you know, making decent money, living mm. slightly above paycheck to paycheck. But Drake can pretty much never be taken seriously ever again. Facts. Getting back to the early 2010s, Drake has been getting made fun of and being called soft since he first came out. He was okay. an actor turned street villain, and that's already mm. corny. But on top of having a terrible funk flex freestyle and obtaining multiple ghostwriters, he then went on to have this overly feminine and zesty persona in an industry with tough and masculine creators my boy is still putting out cringy ass ig story posts but his life is not ruined i mean shit i love drake no homo actually all slightly homo. suspect lyrics drake can have all the money in the world all the fame the women the inches you name it but one thing he will never have is that reputation of being a feared entertainer p diddy now p diddy's allegations are enough to ruin his life alone but when people are saying no diddy instead of pause that's how you know you can just come back Facts. from it and i find it particularly strange that the internet is coming out and clowning diddy about being potentially homosexual when my boy isn't wait not my boy i have no yeah, no no i think one thing that's crazy the internet will flame diddy for being gay right but when niggas like commit murders, ah, uh, uh, yeah, man. But, oh, you're gay, nigga? Oh, like, it's crazy, bro. No affiliation to Diddy. When the dude is an alleged assaulter, he preyed on different young folk and has committed some of the craziest atrocities at those mansion parties. Hey, I think we should meme that stuff instead, but what do I know? Now, regardless of how P. Diddy moves and if these allegations get dropped, everybody is just gonna say money talks. And for that reason alone, I say that Diddy is cooked and he will never come back from those allegations. Perkyo. Mm. Now, Perkyo might be one of the biggest glazers I've ever seen. Imagine going viral because your ass is just a look-alike. Oh my goodness, bruh. Not even to diss Perkyo, but this is a shot at all those fake people, like fake Drake, for example. How are you as a grown man comfortable with your claim to fame being acting as Looking another like grown man? Else. And believe me, I understand- No, this gotta be the biggest meat ride known to mankind, bro. Hell, I cannot, bro, especially- Look, I get it if you're like in your teens and you just, you know, it's just like a funny stick. You're like 40, my nigga. Get a family. There is no reason why you should be getting a haircut as, as another 30-year-old man, bro. Like, you, you, you really approaching women- Trying to tell them that you look like Drake. Are you serious? Why would you even want to look like Drake? I, if anything, I would want to look like Timothy Chamolet or some shit. Someone that actually probably look good. Understand what the comparisons are like. I get compared to Jaden Smith and Sway Lee daily. That does not mean I'm going to be the next Karate Kid and act like I made Black Beatles. With that type of... Black Beatles, it, yo, he do look like Sway Lee though identity you're putting yourself in a box nobody will <laughs> ever know you or respect you for anything else you do besides being fake Lil dark or fake drake or fake whoever else mm. oj simpson now oj simpson recently passed away due to prostate cancer at the age of 76 and when i wop wop i think i speak for everyone when we say wop wop I say recently, I mean literally yesterday at the time of this recording. I know some of y'all are pretty young, so you don't know who O.J. Simpson is. O.J. Simpson was an American football player, actor, and convicted felon who played in the NFL for 11 years. But that's not why he's famous necessarily. In the 1990s, O.J. Simpson became the most infamous man in America after he was charged with the murder of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and Ron Goldman. Now, O.J. Simpson was found not- Imagine being a millionaire. At the time, you could probably get any girl you want. But your thinking is, yeah, let me murder this girl. I don't understand murderers, bro. However, all 
the evidence pointed towards him being a perpetrator of the crime. I grabbed the knife. After that, I don't remember. Except I'm standing there and there's blood and stuff around. I hate to say this, but this is not even that why in the world would O.J. Simpson start laughing in the middle of an interview about killing That's his wife? Crazy. And even though I believe he did it, whether he truly did or did not, you can clearly see that Wait, he- Wait, Chad, do y'all think he did it or not? That nigga did it. That nigga, I'm sorry. You gotta be so stupid to believe he actually did it. Dude, there was so much shit, like, even like when he wore the glove, it still fit at the end of the day. Why are people acting like that shit didn't fit? The nigga was try trying to act like he'd never seen a glove in his life. He did it, bruh. He has no type of empathy for the victims. I mean, obviously, I'm dealing with some issues, uh, but hey, I think I'm just about over it, and I'll be uh, back on that golf course, hopefully in a couple of weeks. Damn. Hey. R.I.P. Gone way too late. 76. He was just a kid. Yo! 30 years too late, unfortunately. Yo! He's looking up at us. The Damn. internet hates this man. Yo, bro, I feel like one thing you would never want to like happen in your in your deathbed is the simple fact that people hate you, bro. That gotta be sad, especially being your like seeing like your your sibling or some shit go through that. 11 years after a jury found him not guilty of the murders of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldman, O.J. Simpson wrote a book, and he called Wait, he killed two people. But I did it. This, I don't care. This is not like YouTube. This is not like a thumbnail bait. You don't say this. This is so insensitive that he did it. Here's That's enough. Behind That's enough, bro. Send him to jail. I demand a retrial. I mean, it's too late now, of course. My guy got packed up and the memes on Twitter are crazy right now. We got OJ Simpson high school walkout. Back in middle school and high school, we were doing anything to get out Walk of class. Out? He's in a better place now among Adolf. And bro, I, uh, bro, I know Adolf was probably doing the gritty when he saw OJ Simpson, bro. Steen and the YouTuber too mad. Now with OJ Simpson, the memes ruined his reputation, but in the worst way possible. He was no longer known for his astounding NFL career, but rather being a murderer who got away with it. I mean, you know it's a problem when people are memeing your death? In conclusion, fame is not always a good thing. If you're famous for the wrong reasons, it can destroy your reputation, Facts. risk your health, and lead to the downfall of your career. Facts. In your lifetime, if you do get lucky and become famous, it's important to have the right group of people around you steering you in the right direction. Because it would be a shame to end up like Welvin the Great, Respectfully. With that being said, I hope you all enjoyed. I don't know how long you kind of look like him, bro. Today's video. Make sure you leave a like. Make sure you subscribe. But anyways, YouTube, those are memes that ruin people's lives. Catch us on Twitch. All that good stuff, man. Waxer for life. Love you all. And peace.